He wants to know how often should one update their BIOS? He's got an MSI MPG Z690 Carbon and last, last updated it when he upgraded to a 13900K from a 12900K. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Um, I'm not a fan of updating every BIOS update. No. Make sure that you have an uninterruptible power supply connected to your computer before you do it, if at all possible. I really, really think more people should have UPSs on their computer. Having said that, early in the life is probably more important. I would definitely update, you know, six months after a platform launches, maybe 12 months after yeah. a platform launch. It was a and then I would take a look at updating near the end of the release cycle. I don't routinely update our systems constantly. Actually, you just tried the other day and had problems, didn't you? Yeah, the, it's interesting to think about RAM. My personal gaming machine at home is a Ryzen 9 7950X, which I know many of you know, but I have to repeat it because some people may be here who didn't hear it. Mm -hmm. I have 64 gigs of DDR5 6000 Trident Z5 AMD Expo certified RAM in there. Launch BIOS, launch board, 6000, turn on AMD Expo, works perfectly, no issue whatsoever. Yep. About two weeks ago, mm -hmm. I updated the BIOS to the latest patch, the post 3D chip fix. I don't have a 3D chip in there, I just have a 7950X in there. Boot it back into the BIOS, turned AMD Expo on. I have no other settings, no overclock, PBOs left to auto. Everything is left to their defaults. Yep. Wouldn't post. Nope. To make a long story short, I had to set the RAM speed to 5600. Oh, it wouldn't do 6000? It, it's to this, to right now, it's at 5600. So I lost 6,000 clock speed support on my RAM. Well, technically it's 3,000 because it's DDR double dot, right? But I lost the 6,000 support with the latest BIOS update. And that happens. Now, I know what to do when that happens. But I imagine the average person would be quite frustrated. And I've seen RAM support change up and down. Earlier in the live stream, we talked about the Samsung B-Die with the we latest did. BIOS updates broke support. We did. Um on old boards. So, do I care? No. Does it make a difference? No. 5,600 to 6,000 is a, is a benchmarking difference. It's a psychological difference. Honestly, I had forgotten about it until this question came up. And when I saw it, I was like, huh. Yeah, I did that recently. Yeah. It happens. It, it does. I will... So, how often? You know, there's an argument to be said that if your computer works, don't touch it. Exactly. Here's the problem. A lot of system and microcode security updates come through the BIOS these days. They do. There are some very critical security updates in just the past 12 months on a wide variety of platforms. If you have a Ryzen 7 3700X on a B450 motherboard that's been working great for four years, you think, why would I touch it? Go check the BIOS updates. You might be shocked at how many critical security patches have been released. Well, I don't do anything important. Does it really matter with my computer? Maybe, maybe not. You don't do online banking. You have no private information in your emails. You have no files in your computer that matter. There was a recent exploit discovered in AMD that is remote accessible that yeah. will reveal your passwords we through gonna... a remote browser JavaScript exploit. Yeah, we were gonna talk about that last Yes. We didn't get to that, did we? We never did, no. It's linked in the last Rogue Tech Show's live streams chat. Or, uh, was it that one or video the one description. before? I don't know. I think it was the one before. They should go watch both of them. <laughs> they should. <laughs> so that's kind of the tricky part, is when there's when there's security updates, you kind of sort kinda of... Kind of need to. You really should. That's why you watch us, because we'll tell you, go update your BIOS.
Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.